Okay, so we got the two rings, and, and I, again, took that piece of stainless steel, and I'm using that as my base, and I've got them clamped. And now what we have to do is measure this end here, and I know we're at one inch exactly, so looks like we're just a little bit too close. So just kind of move it out a little bit. Almost there. So there we go. we've got it level this way, and we've got it level here and here. And so that's going to get us all squared up with the piece. And now what I'm going to do is just come in and drop this one little uh, segment in here, and it's going to spread it apart just a little bit. But I think that's going to be okay once I get... Let's see how close we are. Looks good. Looks reasonable. Looks not so good. But that can bend out. So I think we're going to just go with what we've got there. And uh, come in and braise those two corners together. And then we'll uh, see what we've got. And um, go ahead and do the next part. All right, bringing the braze in, up the temperature so I can get some flux on it. Now we can just come in and preheat this a little bit. And since we've got quarter inch wire in a sense, uh, we don't have to do a whole lot of preheating. Now with brazing, my uh, my flame is always in in uh, oxidation meaning that the uh, the little cone is real sharp it's got extra oxygen going so we got we got it up to temp let's melt some brass in there and see what we can come up with there we go a little bit hotter let it flow all around Get a good flow underneath. Well, I think that looks pretty good. Let that cool off a bit, and uh, then we'll put the other one in. There it is. We'll see if we can get that down below here. I think it's going to go in just fine. And while it's still hot, we'll tweak it just a bit. That looks good. Okay, swing around here, do the same thing. Get ever bring everything up to temperature. Drop a little brass in there. I think that might just be it. Maybe just a little bit more. Nice. Now one thing I see is that, uh, well for one we've got a bunch of brass in there. That yeah, looks pretty good. Maybe we'll just bring it down just a little bit. There we go. And I'm thinking 
a little bit off, but I think that's going to be able to get dealt with. Okay, now it's a lot off. So I think what we'll have to do is go ahead and just let it cool and uh, until I can uh, get it to room temperature so I can handle it and then tweak it all back around again until it fits once again and then put it back together. Okay, things cooled off. We got everything fairly well squared up. Now we'll just come back in and do, uh, do this back side. And I think we'll have ourselves a hoop. Heat it up from the backside and suck some of that uh, that brass all the way through, because the brass always goes towards the hottest the hottest point. So we just drop it in there, and you can probably watch it from here. I'm not sure. Are you going to be able to? Maybe not. Okay, that went in. Now come up underneath and just warm up everything until you see the, the brass pull back in through to the other side. There it goes. Done deal. Our frame is built. We're pretty well set up there. I think a little bit of tweaking on the bottom, but you know, that can come later. Uh, and basically this is what's going to happen. So the, uh, the ball spins inside of the frame. Now we've got one more piece to go. And I can't seem to find it right now. But I, there's a couple of real small ones that kind of go out on the end of this. And they'll, they'll need to be on a platform and then, uh, you know, standing uh, on their own alone. Uh, so the platform will be a, a bolted to the table. But for right now, this is, uh, this is basically what's going to happen. And uh, the frame is to um, put loops of copper wire uh, in sequence around the magnet so that you, so that we get a generator action so that's uh, that's uh, pretty good we've kind of gone to the next step pretty soon uh, once I get these the frame bolted down and the the other uh, two uh, circles bolted down then I'm going to start I'll know where the the this needs to land height and and uh, width and then I'll go ahead and go in and measure and set up the uh, the bearings on each side and then it'll be um, ready to rock and roll. So I'm getting ready to do the finish on this, you know, just kind of file it down and clean it up a little bit and I notice that one of them is just slightly bigger than the other. Oh, I can't stand that. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the power hacksaw. We're going to cut a section out, squeeze the thing back together again, and re, uh, re-solder it. And then see if we can take that gap uh, or take that oversize out. So we'll just bring everything up, up to temperature here and see how it goes. There we go. So just a little dot of grazing on the top there. And if you come in from behind, underneath, you just start heating things up. The brass will literally walk its way back into the into the opening. There it goes. 
So the brass at this point is still in a molten state. You can kind of see it. Nope, oh, now it's solidified now. It goes pretty fast. But now we've got it and just hope that it's uh, gotten small enough that it can do what we want it to do. And what I'm going to try to do is uh, show you how brass or the brazing pulls in uh, from heating up an area and you can just pull the, bra uh, the brass over to where you want it to go by by making an, a certain area hot. Let's see if we can do it. All right. Oops. Got to get the gas in the lines. There we go. Okay, looks like we pulled it in to where it's pretty much equal with the other one. Might actually be a little bit smaller, but it's it's so close it doesn't really matter. So we'll uh, now once we once it cools a bit, we'll go ahead and go in and uh, file the uh, brazing off and get it looking nice again, and then maybe take it in and, and brush it, kind of brush the. Uh, I, I believe what we're going to go next is we're going to build the, the pillow blocks for the bearings. And uh, I got this basically shimmed up to exactly where I want it to go to center the ball in the, in the cage while it's sitting on the platform. So I think it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be pretty good just like that. We've got, um, so tomorrow we're going to start cutting the pillow blocks and uh, probably machining for the bearings and setting that whole thing up.